go. Hi, it's Kendall Volker here on behalf of the Glove Touch and the MMA Holes YouTube channel. I'm here with Mike Vasquez, the owner of BYB. Mike, what does BYB stand for? Well, it stands for Backyard Brawls, the original roots of where we got our start from with Dada 5000 in the backyard. Oh, wow. So it's a bare-knuckle boxing organization. Mm -hmm. When did you first get started? We started in actually planning in 2014. We had our first event in 2015. Our first event, actually, when we started, it wasn't going to be bare-knuckle boxing. It was more like stand-up MMA, bare-knuckle, eight limbs, which is what we did in the backyard. And our first event, which is on our YouTube channel called Battleship, uh, that was uh, basically bare-knuckle MMA. You, know. you said eight limbs. That sounds like Muay Thai. Well, it, it's a little bit, but it's uh, it's basically what we ha we, we allowed was uh, it was all stand up fighting. We did allow uh, submission holds, standing up. We did allow a little action to go down to the ground. But if it became grappling, we'd stood them right up because uh, uh, the whole purpose behind BYB was to give fans what they wanted, which was the action, the confrontation, the fighters going toe to toe against each other, and. Although I used to wrestle, and I know people who love jiu-jitsu and, and whatnot. I love jiu-jitsu. Absolutely, but a small percentage of the mainstream audience likes it. So a lot of the times when fighters go to the ground, you know, at, at other you know MMA uh, uh, competitions, uh, you know, some of the audience is into it. The rest of them are waiting for the, uh, you know, what happens when the referee finally stands them up? The audience goes crazy. They're like, yeah, because they're back to toe-to-toe, -to -toe and there's that confrontation, that striking aspect, which is what I feel most people enjoy. So, bare knuckle has not been a sanctioned sport in quite some time. Did Correct. you have to alter your uh, promotion to be a certified sport, combat sport and be sanctioned by the commission? Well, we did. We ha In Florida, for example, we had to change the rules to limit it to boxing. Uh, in Wyoming, they do allow uh, bare knuckle MMA, so we can go back there to do the full gamut. But we did modify our rules a little bit, uh, as well as originally we had the triangle uh, cage when we were doing the stand-up MMA. Once we started our boxing, uh, we incorporated the triangle ring, the trigon. Uh, uh, it's right behind us here, as you can see, this beautiful equilateral triangle. <laughs> Three equal sides designed really, uh, uh, it's all part of our logo, part of everything. It's to identify us, right? If you see the triangle ring, the trigon, it should bring your mind to BYB. And that's the, the, the design aspect of it. Now, functionally, what happens is because nobody wants to get tied up in, in the tighter corners, there's 360 degree corners, the action runs to the center of the ring. So it's more confrontational. And what we like to say is we want the, the results to be uh, settled by the hands of the fighters and not the judges. So that's kind of the whole concept is really that's powerful <laughs> leave it all in the ring right there yeah wow so can't, I, you can't trust the judges for your decision if you're, if you're gonna train you're gonna fight you want a result you're gonna have to settle it you know yourself but you were the first organization to create a triangular ring or triangular cage right yes now we, we not only did we create it we drew it out uh, Dot and I the first night we met we spent three or four hours together we drew out our logo we drew out the ring um, we made all the footprint for it, not only the, the rope ring, but the, the cage as, as well. Uh, and uh, we, of course, we patented our ring design. We have patents and trademarks uh, on the ring design itself. Now, as you know, uh, a, a regular triangle has three equal sides, and each angle is 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. So in order to patent your design, how, what is the length of the sides? Well, and really in the patent, what it deals with is the design of the triangle ring, right? Like so there's been discussions that we claim we own the triangle. No, we don't own the triangle. We've designed a triangle combat surface, right? Whether it's in a ring, whether it's in a cage, that it identifies with our promotions, part of our logo, part of our whole, you know, uh, culture that we had. We actually were fighting in a triangle with Dada in the backyard before we created BYB. So we started tinkering with it in the backyard way before even 2014. Wow, so this goes way back. How far back does this go? Back when Dada was in the backyard, he started with Kimbo Slice, uh, when uh, he actually worked with the Kimbo. Hold on. Kimbo. Who is Dada 5000? Dada 5000, uh, uh, known, uh, I guess, legal name, Dafir Harris. Uh, uh, for those who don't know him, he's, he's, a, he's a great gentleman. He's a, he's, he's a world-class uh, uh, individual. Uh, he started in the backyard. He actually he started working with Kimbo as Kimbo security when Kimbo was coming up, and then Dada started getting involved in the fights as well and getting into the backyard. Started working as a promoter in the world famous greenhouse. Which, if you've seen the movie Dogfight by Billy Corbin, 
I didn't grow up in the United States, so I have not seen a lot of movies. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> if you if you can look up uh, Dogfight, D A W G Fight, and it it, uh, it goes over the history of the backyard. Dada as a promoter in the backyard, and it's the roots of what BYB uh, how BYB started. Uh, they're going to be releasing actually Dogfight Round Two, which picks up where the first movie ended off, which was Dada winning. And they asked him, what do you want to do uh, next? And he says, I want to fight Kimbo. So then it picks up with Dada when we arranged for the Bellator fight of Dada, who fought Kimbo in, in February of 2016. It covers that event and, the, uh, of course, the aftermath of the event and our getting BYB started. And that's going to be coming out in spring of next year. So when did you file the lawsuit against Triller or uh, Light Promo Lights Out Promotions? Lights Out Promotions, yeah, sure. Um, well, we first became aware of, of somebody trying to use the triangle design probably at the end of October uh, when a little blurb came out in the media. So we actually reached out to the promotion and said, hey, you know, uh, we should talk. You know, we have a patent on this if you guys want to use it. There was actually some conversations before even that happened. Uh, but uh, they uh, dismissed uh, our, uh, our request to speak about it and decided to continue on with the event. So once the event was officially scheduled and, you know, all the legalities, the way things have to be filed, so the attorneys take care of all that. But, yeah, once the event was scheduled and announced, then uh, the lawsuit was filed uh, just prior to their event uh, towards the end of November. I have a legal background. I'm super salty that it hasn't gotten more attention, and you are the first. And I saw their recent event where uh, Frank Mir went up against Pulov, sure. and uh, I was very disappointed uh, at the information that they were giving out. You are the first. You are the finest. You are the best. And it, it doesn't matter who comes after. You're the first. Period. I, I appreciate that, and and it was funny because a lot of people within their promotion, including Rampage, uh, mentioned uh, in discussing in one of their official uh, press conferences, he called their ring the Trigon, which which is, of course, everybody recognizes the ring as the Trigon. Even he knows the this ring is the, the Trigon. This is the Trigon right yeah. here. There is no duplication. So absolutely, no, we're, we're, we're proud of what we're doing. And uh, yes, we're a smaller company, obviously, but we're not going to let anybody come in and roll over on us. That's for sure. And we're fighters. Who are a few of your favorite fighters? Oh, wow. In our series here in BYB, I mean, we got great characters. We got, uh, of course, Renee Whiteboy, who was a, an original from the backyard. Yeah, he's an original. He goes way back. I, uh, yeah. I met Renee Rodriguez, the white boy. He doesn't yeah. like to be called by anything but the white boy, right? Yeah, white boy or highly a champ. He goes by highly a champ also. So he was an original fighter from the backyard, uh, and uh, he made his way up uh, through the ranks in BYB. Jomi Escobosa, our 185 champ, he was also original from the backyard and fought in, uh, in our first BYB, the battleship, the eight limbs one. He had a great fight on that uh, uh, on that card. He's the archangel, right? He's the archangel, yeah. And of course, uh, on the girls' side, you know, what can we say about Patty Juarez, our champ? You know, 135, and, uh, incredible. Christine Stanley. I mean, uh, guys like Carlos Guerra. He's one of my favorite up-and-comers. Uh, I think he's at 145, fighting at 145. But he's Mexican, tight, nice. You know, uh, 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 tight formation, straight, stiff punches. I, I really like his style. We got just a lot of characters, good fighters. Isaiah Quinones, uh, uh, who had the uh, uh, big knockout in BYB6, I think it was. It uh, went around the world. It was on all the major sports uh, highlights and whatnot. We enjoyed. Uh, uh, seeing him then getting a, a little bit of uh, attention that way and, and he's here with us tonight so we're excited we have a, a good crew of young guys we have guys of course like Desmond Green uh, from the U.S. formerly from the UFC uh, you know so uh, excited got some guys from Brazil and of course we have on this card two guys from BKB uh, BKB is the uh, UK promotion, our, and you're doing a cross promotion with yeah, them now. Our counterparts on the UK, yeah, they uh, uh, we've begun working together as we should. I mean, it, we're trying to build the sport. Uh, promoters that are in the industry should be working together to grow the sport. You know, it's not necessary to take all the oxygen out of the room, uh, but you know, so we are working with BKB. They've sent two fighters to this card. We're sending two fighters for their card in January, and we'll probably continue that throughout the year, bringing fighters back and forth and just growing the audiences. That's beautiful. The international community is supporting you. Yep. The Glove Touch is supporting you. You have the MMA holes behind you and myself, Kendall Volker. Thank you very much, Mike Esquez, thank you so much for your time and your words. We appreciate thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the show.